Hello, good day everyone and welcome to one of my uh, recorded Let's Play sessions here in uh, Stellaris. So I just have already have finished the uh, my gameplay regarding the United Nations of Seoul. Well, actually I've already finished it, but I'm still working on the uh, final few touches of my uh, playthrough there. But in the meantime, this is the... Uh, this is a new empire that I've already wanted to play with um, a few well while I was still uh, you know while I was still uh, trying to play or I was still working on the playthrough of the United Nations of Seoul. So I will be using Stellaris 3.9 Calium uh, versions, but uh, recently the uh, new DLC has was uh, it's gonna be released by this month. Uh, the Rifts, I, th I think Astral Rifts, if I recall correct. So I've already uh, let's just say pre-purchased it. Now um, the new game that I will be playing with, or the new empire that I'll be playing with right now, is the Holy Replicant Empire. So we'll be discussing right now the background story here, since I'm going to do a little bit of a role play. Now, the Holy Replicant Empire, oh sorry about that, um, uh, the Holy Replicant Empire is basically, um, uh, it's a successor state of the former humanity. Back then, in the distant future, of course this has a futuristic settings, uh, in the distant future, humanity has, uh, somewhat reached its pinnacle of achievement. But all of a sudden, things change it and they come into a catastrophe. I'm just reading out the, uh, the notes here that I made on my draft story for the roleplay. Uh, in the face of a cosmic catastrophe that humanity faced, which is the Solarian Syndrome, uh, humanity realized that their time was running out. So basically on this roleplay, humanity is already extinct. But despite their extinction, they kind of made a clone army origin, which is what you see here on my gameplay. Now, of course, uh, this is, uh, they were, of course, uh, made on their image. And, uh, of course, uh, you're, for those sci-fi fans, you're really familiar what replicant means. It's basically another term for clone. So, um... In this uh, roleplay, humanity has already been extinct and the uh, successor uh, successor civilization that took over is this, uh, this, this uh, clone empire which has a clone army origin. So it's basically, uh, their, their part in the story of being a clone army is because they're made to, well, combat uh, the their main purpose when they were originally created by humanity was their main purpose was to co combat the galactic crisis. So after the galactic crisis is over, uh, humanity soon became extinct because of this uh, Salarian syndrome. So I haven't choose uh, which uh, to be honest I haven't choose which crisis would be this uh, uh, empire will be facing. I just keep it on random. So if in case it may be, for example, unbidden, I'll have to tie in that uh, story why humanity became extinct with the unbidden, or if it's uh, say uh, extinct with the uh, uh, with the Praetorian swarm, uh, I could also tie in with that. And also, if it's uh, <laughs> if it's unfortunate, I hope it doesn't end with the uh, with the what do you call this the. AI rebellion, uh, the contingency. Yeah, if it doesn't end, if it uh, if the scenario ends with the contingency, uh, then I have to do a little bit more script writing, I guess. Why the humanity became extinct on the uh, on the what do you call this on the contingency? So it's definitely more like a free form of uh, script writing. It depends on my playthrough, so I have to be as usual. Uh, I have to do a little bit of. Uh, you know, uh, script writing technique, <laughs> script writing uh, ingenuity to tie in all those events on this uh, playthrough. Now, since the uh, humanity on this playthrough is already extinct, the leftover clones here, or the replicant empire, is basically worshipping humanity as uh, some form of uh, their god. So as you can see, they're already spiritualist. And since they're a clone army, they're also militarist. Now, mostly uh, spiritualists or what do you call this in real life, theolet, uh, fundamentalist government or theo, uh, theocracy government is mostly authoritarian. So I already added the feature authoritarian. So th these are three primary examples of the uh, 
of the holy rep, uh, holy replica or three of the best uh, simplified uh, simplified uh, what do you call this simplified ethics of the holy replicant empire they're authoritarian their head uh, their head uh, I also named the head of their government, government since this is a female clones. Um, they would be the head matriarch, or, sim, or it's more equivalent to a pope, lore wise, is the matriarch. I would call it grand matriarch, but yeah, I, I think I could make an edit on that. But uh, yeah, I'll edit la later on. But anyway, the point here is the head of their state is called grand matriarch, or matriarch, or whatever the case is. So there are all female clones. Uh, it's something to do plot-wise. I could also make it males, but uh, I think it would be nice if uh, it's females. To be honest, I uh, draw an inspiration from the Dune novel, which is the Bene Gesserit. I'm sure some of the people who, who are uh, very fond of sci-fi do really know well what is a Bene Gesserit are. They are basically a religious group of female uh, uh, female warriors or something like that. If I uh, if I read it uh, based on my interpretations on the novel, the Bene Gesserit are uh, some sort of something that falls in between that, uh, like that. Now here, since I'm not gonna go for copyright infringement, <laughs> I'm gonna make this one as a Holy Replicant Empire. They're most likely patterned as, uh, what do you call this? Uh, the Bene Gesserit form of Stellaris. But in the sense, they're made to be an army and to serve humanity. So, here's the thing. Okay, so I kind of um, I got I kind of got disconnected from that part. Uh, but anyway, here's the thing. Um, since they're mostly where was I? Okay, well, um, yeah, they're kind of more like the Bene Gesserit that their religion is mostly based on worshiping the uh, humanity, kind of like the Forerunner versions of uh, Halo Universe. And also, um, the main thing here is that uh, they're kind of, since they uh, worship humanity and they're spiritual, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are very weary or very afraid of technology. In fact, they, they don't have any qualms regarding their uh, the use of technology. They're just basically more religious because they, you know, they base their faith in humanity, their creators, and they are, of course, from what you look like, they are made in their image. Now, uh, this has something to do with the vaults of knowledge, mostly since uh, this is a successor state, uh, the, the past background of humanity is that humanity has already reached a galactic wide presence in the Milky Way, then they got curb stomped by whatever crisis was looming, and eventually became extinct. But due to their extinction, uh, like I said, they left the clone army. To, uh, or they did create the, their uh, clone army or during the uh, I don't know or I'm still writing on the script uh, they created the, or, the clone army somewhere in between either during the galactic crisis or after the galactic crisis now their main purpose is the part where I'm still writing their script and also the main reason why I'm still writing why they ventured out uh, on the cosmos but most of their tech the holy replicant empire is based on the uh, reverse engineering or basically rediscovering the old tech of humanity some of which is in the vaults of knowledge uh, which i put here uh, of course i'm gonna give it a technical name on the script writing i plan to name it something about latin name for a great library of humanity but i'm still uh you know try to search the computer on what's the perfect uh, latin term for the uh you great library of humanity something like that so they're basically ascensionists because they already uh i don't know i think it's a cool idea that's why i put it ascensionist no basically uh seriously they're basically they're ascensionists because they've already well more like uh transcended to the let's just say philosophical wise they've already transcended from the uh from the previous eels of mankind or their guide basically war uh, conflict yeah they that uh well they're more traditionals to be honest i should have put up traditionals but anyway so here are the game settings that i put up on this uh uh, Empire. Of course, the galaxy size will be large. I'm not gonna put it huge because there's a possibility that my computer 
might hang. That's uh, <laughs> so. Uh, even though this is a brand new computer, there's no guarantee that my computer will not uh, have some problems. Of course, I have to make it a uh, galaxy shape with a spiral four arms because it reflects the Milky Way. So I plan to keep the default uh, number of empires to 12, which is just only half here. But I'm going to try to randomize the advanced AI starts from 1 to 3, as you can see. Fallen empires, I'm going to max them out, and the Marauder empires is going to be random. Now for the tech tradition cost, I want to be this one to be a short game, so I just put it at 0 0.5 because. Uh, you know every Stellaris updates uh, may, every Stellaris DLC makes a new update so to venture out or to complete all the technological uh, you know tradition costs it takes about uh, the, the default setting would be one but I don't think it's not uh, enough because um, it takes a long time and by the time the crisis <laughs> happens I still haven't researched half of the old technologies so this time I'm gonna maximize the habitable worlds to five times because since this is a small galaxy I'll just make it more strategic and just to cope up with the resource uh, if you have a small galaxy the resource tends to be a little bit low so I'm going to base the resource now on the habitable worlds okay so uh, pre-FTL civilization and pre-sapient species I should have put this to one but I'm well I'm pretty much fine to having it 0 0.75 the crisis strength is Oh, uh, okay, I made a mistake here. I'm, I think I I should have put it on to 10 times. But anyway, uh, I'll better check that out on my uh, playthrough. And the crisis type will be, of course, all. It will be random and all of it. If In case that my first crisis wasn't really that uh, uh, challenging or it got nerfed by the AI for some reason, I have a second chance of, of a second crisis. So that's, it's, uh, as a Stellaris game player, you should always set, um, I mean it's applicable for my opinion that the crisis should be set on all because in case you're yeah like I said before so anyway I'm going to the last time I put it 50 years earlier uh, now this time I'm gonna be more modest and put it on the 25 years earlier so the, the uh, difficulty will be capped in this time just to add a little bit more challenging although this, this doesn't necessarily mean that the AI would be more harder. It means that the AI here, the gameplay of Stellaris, will do a little bit, just a little bit of cheats on their behalf, on their side. So pretty much here's the game settings. Uh, of course, Xeno compatibility will be switched off. I don't want my computer to be hanging. The L gate, since this is the Milky Way Galaxy, will be put on. And uh, the scaling of the population will be not uh, maximized, but a little bit. Uh, just I just minus it for about five percent. Uh, I don't know five percent or something like that. But anyway, that's the main background of the Holy Replicant Empire, uh, story-wise. So I am still uh, uh, the main issue of the Holy Replicant Empire here is what will they do on their uh, their kind of marching forward in an unknown uh, you know unknown destiny since they're now left masterless and humanity is now extinct. And uh, it's up to them if they will carry the torch and knowledge of humanity or they will discard it and make their own uh, kind of uh, forged uh, new destiny. So anyway, that is the, um, the rough draft of my roleplay right now. And uh, I hope that it would be more relevant and more entertaining than my previous one well I, my previous one was entertaining so I hope this would be more, a more interesting um, government to look at or at least civilization to look at so government wise uh, just the last thing that I should note the government of Holy Replicant Empire is basically more of like a fundamentalist uh, fundamentalist type of uh, government uh, it's similar to say governments in the Middle East where we could of course as public knowledge is already know that they're kind of semi fundamentalist or fundamentalist type of government say like say Iran now this one uh, just to say the Holy Replicant Empire is neither good or neither bad type of empire they may be anti-villain or they may be an anti-hero type of uh, of the type of government so it, it's still up of course basically on the uh it still will be based on the on what will happen on my playthrough session 
So I guess I'm not gonna hold uh, any further. I'm gonna start my gameplay. Again, this is Operator 60. Oh, have a great day, everyone, and uh, see you on my next, uh, you know, recorded playthrough session. So bye-bye for now.